What's up guys, Chase Grant back here with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be getting P1 ready to roll because we have like, what, two minus, T minus like a month and a half and this truck has to be on the road. The thing is right now, we're able to just use P3 solely because it's winter and we're running a skeleton crew, but we also do use my truck part-time. But we need to get P1 running. It, well, it runs, but we need to get it in tip-top condition for the season. And there's only a couple things wrong with it. So right now, yes, it runs a little rough. It needs a head gasket, but that's nothing that, you know, some Lucas and some heavier oil can't fix for the meantime. Also, we need to fix the suspension and put new ball joints because it is squeaking. The last thing is we need an AC compressor and then two tires. It's these two because one had wear and now this one has wear. But another thing is we kind of have to get this truck cleaned up because right now it's not in the best condition and it's time to get ready for this season. So I want to start using this truck, getting the racks on this truck. We already have the ramp rack. You guys already know about that, but we need to get it all, all done and ready for this season. Over here, we have some trimmer racks right here. Trimmer racks, string rack. We have one blower rack, spray rack. We need another blower rack. This is the ramp rack that's gonna be going on there. Yeah, pretty much we need just another blower rack. And then if you guys can see, a gas can rack. We don't have another one of those, so we need that. Also right here in this mower, we did just replace the um, bearings right here in the caster wheels. So we got that done yesterday. I'll run the B-roll, but we did this and gave an oil change to the P1. Okay guys, so I'm at the car wash right now. I'm in P1, so we gotta get this thing cleaned up. The actu Actually, the in interior is actually pretty clean. I already cleaned the interior. So the interior is not bad. It's just the exterior needs to be cleaned a little bit. After that, we have to get the tires on the same side. So we have two bad tires, two good tires. Two good tires need to be in the front. Two bad tires need to be in the back. So when we do change them, they don't have to swip swap all of it. Or we could just have them do it. Really doesn't matter. Well, we have to get the tires, pretty much. We just pretty much have to get that service scheduled, but let's just get into washing this truck so we can get on to the next step. Watch out when I speed up. Now it's gonna beat off because of that, the ceramic coating that I have. Watch, you're gonna start to see it go slowly. It's gonna start to beat off everything. When it's raining, this crap works, and it's like this the whole time, and you never have to use your windshield wipers. That's why I put that on. See, it's already almost gone. Okay, so we have the truck washed. And remind you, there's a couple things we need done on this truck. Let me just go through the checklist. We needed an oil change. We needed a car wash. After that, we need tires. After that, we need to work on the suspension. After that, we need an AC compressor. And after that, finally, number six, we need tent, window tent. So after all that, that's what we'll be. And I mean, if you want to throw a car wash, I don't know if I said that yet, but if you want to throw a car wash in there, that would be in there too. But I just got the tires on order, so now we are gonna have new tires on this truck. Two new tires, two of them are good, as you guys saw. But after that, we're gonna be working on the suspension. Okay, oh. in the time that this last cut has been, it's been like four or five days. We have that truck oil change, as you see. All we have left to do on the truck is vinyls. We're putting on two new tires, and then we're fixing the suspension. After that, everything else is just bonus points. But we'll be ready to operate right after that. In the, in the actual business, when it does come to marketing, we have done solely upsells and affiliate marketing. In this, 
we have actually closed over $10,000 of work, extra work in this first month of 2024. Going forward, we're gonna keep trying to increase our affiliate connections, as well as throwing in some of our more original type of marketing, as you know, i.e. yard signs, door hangers, all of that. But we are trying to put a heavy focus on affiliates. When it does come to the Grow Growth Club, we will be accepting the first 25 members in the third week of February. I will have a specific date very soon. The wait list is already full, like you won't be able to get in in the very beginning. But if you get on the wait list, you may be on, I don't know, the third or fourth different entry. I, I forgot how many people were accepting per month. But you'll see a lot more to come with the Girl Growth Club. You'll see a lot more to grow in our business. We're going to have to be getting another truck soon. But anything that we do, I will update you guys so you guys are directly involved in the growth of Grow. See that rhymes. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.